Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a video. In this video, I'll be telling you guys five ways to get a lot of money in Lifeboat Prison. As you can see, I am grade Z. This is the grade Z mod. It's all emerald. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the first tip. Alright guys, this might not sound very good, but the first tip is do PvP. Um, even if you're new, um, you know, you can jump in here, you can get a nice, decent pickaxe, or even just ask for a pickaxe. This is mainly for the new guys. Um, so yeah, they're just going to be like, oh yeah, sure, I have an extra one, here you go. You don't have to grind up 3,500 coins, so let's give you a nice free pickaxe. Simple as that. And then boom, you can start mining, or if you can't get that done, just mine, um, crap. <laughs> uh, just stand on the edge, or just go somewhere, find a private mine, like PvP server, by yourself, with no one else in, that, in it. Mine one block of whatever, just with your with your fists. It's 90 or 95 coins. You can get a wooden pickaxe and just mine here. And eventually once you get up high a little bit, you have your pickaxe, you have some emeralds, things like that. So then yeah, that's the first tip. Just focus on PvP mine to mine or PvP. Or just ask for a pickaxe. That will get you started and get you a lot of money. All right, tip two is literally just, one second. So tip two is literally, literally just buy prison TNT. It's it's the best item in the game, it really is. Don't even buy the mini prison miner. TNT is the best. 22 to 51, and I could've been mining the whole time, and I'm already at a stack. And then one stack of emeralds equals, as soon as I get enough. One stack of emeralds equaled up to six thousand eighty dollars. So you get six K for each stack that you mine. Um so yeah, let's just go to tip number three. Tip number three is get the prison miner. I just said don't get him because he's bad, but if you have the money, you should invest in both. Because while he's mining, you can also mine. Yeah, okay, this my pickaxe. You can also mine while he's mining. He's gonna sit there and mine your blocks, but he does get stuck like this sometimes. All you have to do is just mine them out. He'll drop and he'll mine again. So you gotta keep him, or if you just run kind of far away, he's like a dog. He'll follow you. And he'll leave his spot and he'll come over to you as soon as he gets stuck again. Um, so yeah, this is tip number three. Uh, just, you know, pretty straightforward. Just buy the stuff in the game that's meant for grinding. Um, so yeah, just. You know, TNT and Prison Miner are two pretty good items. I'm on cooldown still. And look, I got a stack. I already have 6000 more dollars. On to tip four. Okay, guys, tip number four is honestly one of the easiest ones on the list. Um, in any of your mines, just go straight into the bottom as far as you can go. Just go down to the base level. Oh, shit. Pull your pickaxe. You're gonna, you can turn on YouTube. And then just hold forward and mine with your hands while you're watching YouTube, just like this. Um, eventually, you're going to get the whole way to the other end. And you can just, once you get to the other end, say this is the other end next to the other side of the ladder. You turn around, watch YouTube again, go back this way, just like this. And do that as far as you want. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then after a while, that money's going to rack up no matter what mine you're in. It's AFK mining. You can use rubber bands and stuff, but that's, in my opinion, it's not as good because you, you have to pick your controller up and turn your guy around again just so you can turn around. If you use your hands, you can just sit down and watch YouTube on your phone, have it on your lap while you look down and just mine, look back and forth. If you're serious about getting money in this game and rank up to Z, I did this for a while too. This is like one of the things I actually did. So this is tip four, and uh, we're going to go to tip five. Alright guys, next tip is only if you're in like the different mines, like if you have different kind of blocks in your mine, okay? So this is only emerald block, this is diamond and emerald, these. So this is pr probably only really going to work if you're below you-ish, if you're like up here in like kind of the early mines, right? So redstone block, diamonds, let me just find a good mine for demonstration purposes. Gold block, iron block, lapis lazuli. Alright, so say if we're in this mine, right? Um, lapis will suffer the most. We're in this mine, okay? So say if it's fresh. Um, one second, guys. 
So pretend this mine's fresh. Okay. You're going to want to... Here, let's check the side just to make sure that the side is not fresh. All right, yes. Okay, this is a perfect demonstration. You're going to shift on the ladder. Okay, you can't do it on these mines. But lapis, 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 lapis. You're going to only mine the best block like this. And only mine other blocks if you have to save your durability. Just keep mining like this. Just like this, guys. And the money will rack up fast. This is a pretty good tip. I wish I was doing this when I was in the lower mines. I don't know why I wasn't. It just makes so much sense now that I can notice myself doing it. It just makes a lot of sense. Just like this. Go up. Get the easy blocks. Crap. Get the easy blocks. Boom, 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 boom. Just like this. And look, just from mining for this little bit of time, I managed to beg myself. It's probably not going to be very much because I didn't really try it for that long. $3,000. Okay, that's that's pretty okay. And guys, we have one more bonus tip for you guys. So, on to that. Alright guys, the next tip is going to be trading. Um, only trade with people who you kind of trust. Kind of get like a relationship going with them first and then you can trade. But you can go... You put stuff in chests and a tip for trading you need to have a plot to be able to put stuff in a chest and take them out um, blocks don't work anymore so you're gonna have to fill your inventory up to force drop I'll, sh I'll demonstrate that real quick so let's go back to my plot real quick do, do I even have any blocks I wonder I don't know if I have any blocks or not what's in here I'll just use heads for demonstration so you, so see this item I'm holding. Look, say if I want to drop this sword, now I can't. This can't go anywhere in my inventory. Boom! See it drops. I can't pick it up because there's nothing. There's no space. There I can. Drop it again. It drops. See, I can't pick it up because there's no space in my inventory, so it just gets thrown out. So another guy can come get this. Now this is only if there's trusted people, because you throw all your blocks. Say if you have like three stacks of emerald blocks, you're trading for a knock back to your sword um you're just gonna fill your things up except for the blocks you can hold the stack of blocks in your hands pretend this is a stack of blocks and holding exit and then one stack can be thrown to the ground do that to all your stacks and then you can trade you get a sword and you can trade that for more and then that's a good way to make money that's a really good way to make money actually but you can get scammed so be careful so yeah that's our sixth and final tip and uh, I forgot um, to mention in the video, but I'm looking at it afterwards. Um, if you have, like, nothing at all, or, like, if you just want some free loot, I'm doing a giveaway, a pretty big giveaway for a lot of items. If you want to enter, just subscribe, like, and leave your name in the comments. I'll um, add you on Lifeboat. I'll come to you. I'll give you stuff. And, yeah, just leave your comments in the description of your name. Like, subscribe, and, yeah. This is it for this video. Peace out, guys. Have a good rest of your guys' days. And yeah, this is Tux Tips. And uh, I'm Audi, boys. Enjoy your day.